Here's an update to the Shanghai Composite Monthly Chart shown on January 17th, 2023 video. And see that video for an explanation of the symmetrical triangle. And there was a secondary uptrend line which I have taken out and created this head and shoulders topping pattern in purple. So here's the left shoulder the head and the right shoulder which is smaller than the left shoulder in width so the left shoulder is much wider than the right shoulder and both are about halfway up through the head part of the pattern you can see that by drawing a line right here and connecting the two peaks from the left shoulder and the right shoulder so that's right halfway and the measure rule is from the top of the head right here at this peak is the highest part of the head pattern. And then down to the breakout right here. And you can see the neckline runs right across the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder in purple here. So it broke under and did not go to the 14.18% down and is just now for this month nosing back up above the neckline here so I've drawn a horizontal line in purple going right across the right shoulder and that would be the goal to get above that in a sustained manner and negate the head and shoulders topping pattern altogether and then looking forward in looks like May or June of 2024 here if it can't make it above that doesn't make it down to the 14.2 and just kind of rides along that there's a spot right here in June 24 or so where it can get above all three of them this downtrend line from the symmetrical triangle the horizontal pattern negating the head and shoulders topping pattern and the neckline of the head and shoulders topping pattern right here but as we know China is reopening I don't think it will be at least until another year before they really get it up and running full tilt so that could bring us over to here you never know but in the meantime, it can get above that symmetrical triangle, get back into the apex pattern of the symmetrical triangle here, and start moving up and get above that line here on the right shoulder. That would be a pretty good sign that the Shanghai Composite is well on its way in an uptrend 